What's up, Synthaholics? I'm Steven Learson, and I recently did a video on the OB6, and in the video, I kind of recreated some of the classic sounds that people had used with the OBX or OBXA, and a guy named Richard Jasso messaged me and said, hey, can you go more in depth on how you made those sounds? Because I do have an 80s cover band, so I'm gonna do it. Here's a quick look at how I recreate some sounds from the 80s using the OB6. So if you look at the OB6, every knob and every button is set to the parameter that I'm playing. So if you want, just take a screenshot and copy the knob positions and you should get the sound. Some things that you can't see just by looking, I have the frequency of VCO1 set to C2 and the frequency of oscillator 2 to C1. I also have the key mode to LAR, which means the envelopes will attack with every note that I play. If you're interested in knowing how to make the sound from scratch without just copying the board here, I'll show you. I have VCO2 all the way up, and it's just a uh, sawtooth wave. Okay, uh, then I'm going to bring in VCO1, an octave higher. Not quite as loud as VCO2. Then I'm going to bring in the sub octave. Almost all the way. I want VCO2 to be the loudest. So. So that's pretty close already. Now we can uh, add a little color to the sound. What I'm gonna do is bring in some pulse width modulation on both VCO1 and 2. And this is very slow, sine wave. Okay, next I'm going to also affect the pulse width of VCO1 with VCO2. And the shape. So if you just hear VCO1 now. It's got that little shake in there. And finally, on Van Halen's recording, there is some kind of like slap back and a reverb. So I have uh, added some delay and a haul. Another thing is VCO2 is slightly detuned. There's it in tune and just out of tune. With it in tune, Kind of just not right. It's a little thin. To make that Tom Sawyer bass sweep, again, everything is laid out, every parameter, just as you see it. So you can just copy that. And then some things that you can't see, I have us in unison with all six voices. The frequency of VCO1 at C2. And VCO2 at C1. And then I have the phaser 2 effect at a mix of 21. Now what's really gonna make this sound pop is the X mod section. If I just turn off the filter mode. With it off, it's pretty close, but then when I turn it back on, you 
get that kind of like deeper sound. It's much deeper and fatter. The other thing that's going to be really important is setting your envelope filter uh, just right with the attack all the way down. Decay. If it's, if it's too far back, then it'll go too fast. Sustain. If you have it too far back, it'll fall too slowly. And then the last thing is I have the filter on high pass. But sometimes I think it sounds good j with just a little bit into the notch. That way you get some of that bass attack. So for the lead of Tom Sawyer, I have both VCO 1 and 2 set to saw waves, and they are in unison. Detune just a little bit. And then I have the LFO set about that speed, affecting VCO 1 and 2, and pulse width modulation. With just enough that you can hear it, I'm also in unison mode with all six voices, detuned. No pan spread. And then I have the sub octave just past halfway. Not too complicated that sound. Okay, Don't You Forget About Me is a kind of an organ sound. So I have the VCO1 at C2, VCO2 at C0, and then the sub octave is the octave in between at C1. So we have three octaves of sound. Now I have VCO1 the loudest, so that top note is nice and big. Probably VCO2 down two octaves the quietest, and then the sub octave kind of right in the middle. You could make both VCO1 and two saw waves, but I think it sounds a little better right in between a saw and a square. Also, of course, I have delay and reverb, and the release time is pretty long. Make it nice and big. Also, I am modulating VCO1 and 2. I think it sounds good just a little too much. And also pulse width modulation, of course, always. So there's a quick tutorial on how I recreated some sounds from the 80s with the OB6. I know my playing is not perfect, so don't come down on me too hard. I'm really just trying to display the sound, not really the technique and the exactly right notes. Uh, so uh, please forgive me if I'm playing it a little wrong. And I know this is not the only way to get these kinds of sounds. If you have a better way or you have a slightly different version of how you get to those exact sounds, I'd love to know. Share your videos in the comments, send me some links, and I'd love to check them out. All right, we'll see you next time. Yeah.